community. It's called no unity. We, men we mentally weak as fuck, psychologically fucked up when it comes to lifting each other up. Our minds are in prison. That's that willingness. Modern day slavery is a bitch, light or dark. Boss, we sick. Sympathy and empathy we have for others are done for each other. No unity. That's why other races come in our come and take over our communities. Run shops. Why you dumbass niggas? The flag that has no allegiance to my black ass. Right. <laughs> when I was born, I used to say the Pledge of Allegiance all the time. My hand over my heart. Must have been out of my damn mind. <laughs> See, I didn't know the facts. I think it was that Similac or that Infamil. It had me crazy as hell. Then I got old and I could see. Natural fact, we've had 44 presidents and only one black. And don't nobody in this room think that's unusual. But ever since the Declaration of Independence, they've been having the nerve to call America beautiful. Yeah. Nigga, please. <laughs> Whoever believes that got Willie Lynch disease. My grandmama told me, baby, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say shit. And y'all wonder why I walk around here so quiet. They say Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. I say, how the fuck you figure? This is 2019, and guess what? I personally know some Phil and House niggas. Hear me? I wonder they put his ass on a penny. He wasn't worth a nickel. A dime. Not one red cent. Just when I forgive and I forget, here they come with these white cops killing unarmed black boy shit. Yeah. God bless America. Please hear my plea. Right. Somebody in this room take the blindfolds off the Statue of Liberty. Light that bitch torch so she can see. White cops killing unarmed black boys birds the same food as niggas hanging from the tree. Right. And y'all wonder why Kaepernick took a knee. Yeah. Man, ain't no justice here for you and me. Right. We hold these truths to be self-evident that some people is whack. Because all men and women in America are not created mm -hmm. That's a fact. Whites, Jews, Gentiles, Protestant, Catholic, especially black. America the beautiful shit, nigga, that mirror been crap. <laughs> we have a turn. And it's going to take all of us, white, black, red, brown, to refer. Then and only then, America the beautiful, we can declare. Mm -hmm. Now by saying this poem, Slim Slay true, you don't love your country. <laughs> Bullshit. What the fuck does love got to do with this? <laughs> this is about right. This is about wrong. We as black people, man, we've been held down far too long. He came. They say I used to be a king. Shit, I tell them just treat me like a human being. <laughs> Until they step into this black skin and look through these brown eyes, they will never see what I see. And America ain't that beautiful. See the shine and see. What's so like? Community. It's called no unity. We men we mentally weak as fuck. Psychologically fucked up when it comes to lifting each other up. Our minds are in prison. That's that willingness. Modern day slavery is a bitch. Light or dark. Boss, we sick. Sympathy and empathy we have for others are done for each other. No unity. That's why other races come in our come and take over our communities. Run shops while you dumbass niggas fight over blocks. Just stop. Listen, please. They're laughing at our ass all the way overseas. The whole world is the stage, and we the clowns. Just look around. No black owned stores nowhere to be found. We in so much delirium that in our own neighborhoods we feel inferior. Knowing damn well we superior, so they keep us in hysteria. Now you niggas are just scarier and scarier. For the white cops to kill you and bury you. The more the merrier. No unity. Something wrong. Look how we take care of our home. Flint, Michigan ain't had running water in four years, you telling me. That's supposed to be niggas more to far as I can see. From New Jordan's out, niggas far as I can see. No unity. They say slavery was abolished, right? I ain't never seen so many feeling feel house niggas in my life. We shall overcome, yeah, right. No unity, something wrong. We the only people in the world that don't know our religion or home. Last but never least, starve but we still eat. Beauty and the beast, black folks are so unique. It's a fact, we under attack. It's time to get our dignity back, integrity intact. Our souls have been hacked. Only thing I can figure, 
You must really think we niggas. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. Hey. Oh. Ow. Y'all just so dope. Like, we're so resilient. Say that again. So resilient is like amazing. Like, to just see the things that we go through. You know, they call, they say, um, people have PTSD. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, okay, you um, you experience something and you traumatized by it, so you go back to your regular life and you try to be regular and you can't, so they call that PTSD, right? Yeah. Look, Ma, I want you to know that I adore you, but we've been independent for too long and our teachers taught us that we didn't need a man. They were so wrong. We need a covering. We must support our brethren, the world's most hated, and our homes that are underrated. There are kings in our faces. They've been stomped on, counted out, and incarcerated. Mm. We are the most educated, but our men have been castrated. Left to the wolves in the desert, only some make it. And then they come home to us with the world on their backs. We fail to understand, so we spit out some facts like, we need more money. I need a vacation. I have bigger plans in life. There's the dedication. Stop. Breathe. Give that man what he needs. Love, encouragement, and edification. It's too easy to leave. Our children need him. Our souls bleed for him. Life isn't so hard when family is the foundation. America even saw so fit for a black man to lead the nation. So who am I? A single young mother of two young men. Years ago, I couldn't comprehend that importance. But I will tell you by my metamorphosis. I love you, black man. And I pray for you. One day you will rise up, and until then, I will wait for you. Mm. There's nobody on this earth that could replace you. I love you like my brother. I care for you like my mother. I go to war for you because I love you like no other. Plus is in my nature. <laughs> you are a divine creation, a magnificent being. I remind you when you can't believe me, because I trust you enough to stand by your side. When times get tough, we shall not divide. We will justify the demise of this systematic devastation. I am your soul, sister, and this is our journey to happiness, a divine destination. You are the piece to my puzzle. P-E-A-C-E -E to my brother, my best friend, and my lover. I love you, black man. Of the mad black woman. She doesn't respect the black man. She, she is too independent. They ask, independent of who? She may have been molested, cherry pop before she knew about the fruit. Mr. Wright, he was a copyright infringement and daddy wasn't there. He missed class every day. So the essence wasn't there. Spells cast for generations laid all up in her space. Souls tied, no reparations. Sex feels good like self-mutilation. Mm. Heartfelt palpitations. It make my will skip a beat. The presence is always a gift. I say it is in the darkest hours before dawn. And before dawn, queens will have meaning, meaning we will rise up. This so called mad black woman is a resilient being. The my king, still a supreme being who gave birth to the earth. Them scars be, them scars be invisible until you understand why we be independent, feeling invisible because all our life we had to fight. Strongest where we were broken. No silver spoons to force down the tussle. The only cure I ever learned was to get out and hustle. Accepting this and expecting that, it don't last too long. Action is equal to verbs and still speak louder than words. Patterns, they round, rain down like cats and dogs. So even inconsistencies, they be consistent. Wolves be wearing snake skin and snakes be in sheep mode. He left me and he left home for legion the wrong. But he picked the wrong one. See, I made it through what might just kill you. Watch what skills do. I wasn't left with the option of every other weekend. The seeds I'm sowing are growing into men. I'm teaching perpetual health and wealth. Self-preservation is the main demonstration for understanding the occasion of the frustration. It makes for great love minus the hatred. I be waiting for late hugs minus the matrix. Hey, um, this is for every black woman who raised the hood, for every black woman who 
got it out the mud. For every black woman who is labeled something, she is not. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, black woman misunderstood. And stop calling me mad black woman. I am the very definition of what it means to be resilient. And miss me with that Mrs. Independent bullshit you be spitting. Hey y'all, I came to get free. <laughs> Say that again. Oh, resilient is like amazing, like to just see the things that we go through. You know, they call they say um, people have PTSD, mm -hmm. and and it's like okay, you um, you experience something and you traumatized by it, so you go back to your regular life and you try to be regular and you can't. So they call that PTSD, right? Yeah. That ain't the shit we going through because we going through. Uh, <laughs> Reoccurring experiences every day, and people look at us like this shit is regular. Give it an acronym. I ain't got that. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. But I'm just saying, though, like, um, we, we got to help each other. When we be going through, we have to be more understanding. We have to be more loving. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what this person, you, you might have a young mouthful. That's a straight chemist in the streets mm. that don't have a leader, don't know what it feels like to, you know what I'm saying, to have guidance and none of that. We got to start pouring into each other more and stop talking, talking. We destroying, killing each other with our mouths. It's crazy. Anyway, I don't even know where they came from. They don't have nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> nah, you speaking that knowledge? Go ahead. You said everything has a purpose. Hey. Alright, so um, this is about, this piece is called Misunderstood, and it's about the mad black woman. Okay, hey, let me look at that right quick. Oh, <laughs> So, um, 
These niggas with guns, they be Superman. With drug and loose power surges when they're really Clark Kent. I really try to be humble, but so I'm harder than most of these niggas times 10. How the tip verbs, they hit the dome and spit fire. I like the frontal lobe like tempo. I'm a die high. You in a box, you missed that, you focused on this. And I said that. The spell works when I spell words. My vernacular leaves. Hey, this is what my mind sees. You can call them mind seeds. I be putting it on paper like Al Green and Ann Nesby. And let's be clear, it ain't easy but it's worth it. I left all titles in the boot just to come to the loop. That's purpose. I be moving like a motivated soldier on the battlefield, contemplating on the come up, so I never touch down again. Cool. Uncomfortable is what my promise is. The vision was plain, so I wrote it down. And I got down to business, and I met my biggest beast. This giant looked just like me. I slayed. Unbothered by the perception of local deception, I kept moving to the rhythm of my feet. I shed this blood and my tears, I trumped all fears, made my own lane. Ain't no competition, and you ain't supposed to see it. It's my vision, it's my reason for living. These are my gifts to give back. If I miss out, it was my decision, my fear of living. Every day my heart breaks to see the masses match TV that be slow mass destruction of mass production of left brain creation. Now what's left to see but right perception of false reality. Breathe deep, literally. We have to play to win and since it's chess, protect the queen. That's it. Always under the king and check your mates. Woo! That's just Come on. And if it made you mad, auto correct me. Mm. Under the blessing. What you think we came here for? That's purpose and what's worse than leaving this earth on the pool, full of missing the blessings? Wish we could, should, would, good, but you can't. Mm. It, it has everything to do with purpose. And um, I had it's so much, thing, so many things that's been going crazy this year with me. Like I had dental surgery and it messed up my mouth, and so like now I talk funny. You see that? My son, I came home, my son was like, Mom, you need to be like 50 cent and just fix something while your mouth messed up so it give it more definition. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know it was gonna stay though. I didn't know it was gonna stay. You know, pride will mess with you. So I'm like, I don't even wanna spit no more. Mm. My mouth messed up, it's twisted to the side a little bit. I don't wanna do it no more. Mm -mm. But it's purpose though, y'all. Yeah. Hey, that all hey so. It is what it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm from the south. Yeah. <laughs> Narlins, Narlins. Okay, so um, I am controversial. Um, if y'all go on Facebook, pull your phones out for a minute, please. I need you to go to Facebook. I uh, You can find me at S. <coughs> oh, excuse me. At uh, the Poetic, P O E T I K S T L on Facebook. Like my page. You know, I, uh, I'm kind of new to this, y'all, but I enjoy sharing words. I think it's healing. Yeah. Um, I try to get outside of myself. Yeah. Sometimes I look at things I write and I be like, hey, I don't know where this came from, but I appreciate the download, you know? All right. So <laughs> I might say some things and you're going to be like, what she say? Uh -huh. I said that shit. <laughs> I said that shit and I meant it with my heart. Everything I say, I mean it with my heart. That's right. Okay, so this first piece is called But You Can't. Mm, never mind. But it's not. <laughs> for, every, for, every time, for every time you call me a bitch and cause my inner nerve to twitch, and every time you said I was a whore, you made me wonder all the more just what it is I see in you, what's wrong with me, because I know what's wrong with you. <laughs> it's kind of close to my heart. I wrote it for my son uh, when he was 13, and he was murdered when he was 16, oh. and it's called You and I Delinquent. A child who would rather do what you wish that he wouldn't and does the things that he knows that he shouldn't relishes in the thought of confusion and go wrong 
draws his own conclusion. Mm. To a juvenile delinquent, a chore is a bore, which he hopes you don't ask him to do anymore. And though he doesn't see the game, he'll argue the score and declare that a three should have been a four. Drops out of school, because he breaks the rule, using his temper like a carpenter's tool, making of himself an obvious fool, thinking that mischief is some kind of cool. My advice to these children is simple as such. You get what you give, you can see and don't touch. Hear and don't say things that are profane, else a juvenile delinquent, you will remain. Pray and ask God to strengthen your mind so that you won't remain one of the kind that is called a juvenile delinquent. An ache that keeps you awake, a pain that you cannot explain, the crying of tears that nobody hears, like constant demanding with no understanding. Loneliness akin to needing a friend. You want some food with no way to buy it. Overweight without the courage to diet. Hungry for love, no one to supply it. Suffering. Failing a test after doing your best. Going to bed early and getting no rest. Trying to eat what you cannot digest. Paying more and getting less. Surrounded by people who want you to vanish. Children, boy children, who are downright managed. Girls who want only to be fondled or correct. It often turns into a future mess. Notwithstanding, we all are blessed. Though we may be suffering. What we talk about last night in the Central West End. Last night at the club. All by my lonely. Drinking one hand, holding this dread gin strongly. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I'm holding the gin strongly. In <laughs> walked in, this chick I met some time ago. What I saw in my eyes was more than unexplainable. I'm stuck without speech. When I attempt to speak, I cry. More words, spit like a gunshot. I was a wood boy. Blood clot. Crabs. Bold, type of nigga, say whatever. Mm. I offered her a dance on the next slow spinning record. <laughs> Man, she shot me a look and cut my like razor blades. Ooh. Yeah, I spoke so precise, I was really amazed. She responded with a no. But you can sit down, no, I know you. <laughs> Fill in your toes and you about to explode. Ooh. Check it out. <laughs> I caught a whiff of a fragrance that drifted my way. Oh, man. Sweet from a feet all the way to the okay. okay. <laughs> we skipped preliminaries and headed for the exit. And if you think it's over, you ain't ready for this next shit. Mm. Not only was we leaving, she had friends in the police. I don't care if you believe it, I'm shocked my damn self. <laughs> but I lost my cell phone. You know, my numbers took the next, so I'm left with three pad women all by myself. Oof. We hot, you hot, we walk right into the spot. Pick who you want and take a home at the drop of a dime, I'll be lying. I don't do this all the time. I got a social disorder. I don't speak when I run. <laughs> Rewind. Yeah. But it's then like, you yeah. seem to think that I'm a lost call. So we on my dosage. Plus, I wasn't even taking it at all. My vision was blurred from the gin. No chaser. But I kept my composure to the next destination. I made shit. I'm rolling in the hoopty in the Central West End with three hot groupies. <laughs> Not only was I seeing double, my speech was slurred. Plus, these three hot women want to kick me with the perv? <laughs> no, my fuck, I ain't about to blow this. So I pulled a call and said, excuse me, miss, and let it go from the soul till I felt the slight twitch. Man, this woman held my head while I threw up in a ditch. <laughs> she said, I understand that all the liquor can catch you. But when we get home, you be sober for this sex. And hold on. <laughs> now you think it's a lesson to be learned? The story ain't over. We ain't mad fun. When you hot, you hot. I walk right into the spot. And pick who you want and take her home at the drop of a dime. I'll be lying. I don't do this all the time. I got social disorder. I don't speak when I rhyme. Wait a minute. This one we got home. I bust through the door. Man, I'm waving a fifth of liquor. I hit the shower. I tried to add the, you know, some powder for the finish, but I was strolling through the home with my crib, drinking straight out the bottle, head spinning. 
Man, yo, what happened to the women? Candles with the ceiling with a silhouette. Body light, heaven in my arms is what I'm feeling next. Waiting for the next and two to join so I can give them this. Next thing I black out and wake up at home with my wife staring crazy, talking shit on the phone. <laughs> Girl, he was drunk and thought he was gonna fuck all three of us when we brought his ass home. <laughs> now, I remember half of the night when I woke up. The rest had to be explained with no shortcuts. Before I could speak, she was walking out with luggage, pushing and shoving, throwing shit and cussing. As much as I would love to explain, I been fucked up. When you hot, you hot, and walk right into the spot. Pick who you won't take her home at the drop of a dime, I'll be lying. I don't do this all the time, I got a social disorder. And I only speak when I run. We caught up in the same every day situations. There's no way around the actions. I fall victim to reactions. The pressure build within, hey man, I'm finna push your shit back. Man, my actions ain't my own when I perform for that threats. Conscious under pressure is a label around my neck. It's his ass stomping, packing five foot something. Deliberately choose an individual who ain't done nothing. Man, set an example. But watch your piece of cues. Well, take this abuse and run it to your whole crew. If you standing in my square, my stress level's peaking. Hold your tongue and maintain, because I don't want to start speaking. And if I go all out, somebody's got to die and me on the next day. I'll blame it on the hot. So the stress got us down, we play around and contemplate. My mindset, a criminal, a heartless individual, man. Deliver my residuals and leave me peace of mind. What goes around comes around, I'm waiting on my time. Problems cause attention, got my world upside down. I wear a frown, turn around and hide the pain that's inside. Man, I'm defined clinically depressed and capable of anything. We dream to be sane and function without a stimulant. But all this drinking and smoking weed got us thinking, plus we been. Man, irrational, drastic propaganda. Man, it's going nowhere. I know you've been there. I know you've been there. I know you've been there. I'm holding on with a strong grip. But one more little thing, I might fuck around with flip. Constant, mindless, meaningless, negative stress. I got to get out of here, y'all. Thank y'all for Oh. Yeah. Oh, now. Watch out now. <laughs> Oh boy, but they you broke that down now. I saw some Good evening once again. Good evening. Good evening. I was trouble man, my yeah. brother from another mother. I was a trouble man back in the day. But uh, we didn't make it plan by the rules. Tell him. But now we cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hanging out with my brother, Twisted, Gregory, Khalil, Lamar. Uh, uh, government name. Uh, co host, Gallery, D Queen. And I'm the co co host. Because <laughs> I've been hanging out with them. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a poor per se, but when I hang out with my brother, or another mother, or anybody that I love, and by the way, I love all of you all here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And I mean it sincerely and wholeheartedly. Uh, so I'm just going to slow it down and do a few haikus. You know, I kind of wish I could do what you guys do with the long pieces. <laughs> You know, I can't. I tried. <laughs> and I stopped. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a couple of high And I don't get into that deep stuff. You know, you know. <laughs> Some pineapple words, I told you. Pineapple words. Pineapple words. I don't, I don't do that, but this, 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 this is, uh, what's, what's this month? Uh, women, women history, women history. history. month. What women you mean? History. What's this month? So I don't know. Or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I love all you women. So I do have this one little piece. <laughs> so, so forgive me, would you please? In advance, I penetrate you. <laughs> Come outside and minister through. What the fuck? Again? <laughs> I thought you said it on 
The one minute. Oh! The, the minute man. Oh, damn. You gotta repeat that. Yeah, I missed that. Repeat. This yeah, is, repeat this it. Is, this is right? Yeah. Okay, Play so with your words. With, with you hear twice. Literally. Just do it again. Here we go. I penetrate you. Come outside and minutes through. <laughs> what the fuck again? <laughs> <laughs> I got to learn how to last long. Twister and Valerie. Twister and Valerie, big green and twisted. Twisted, Valerie, haiku open mic wordplay. For excellent chords. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Twisted Valerie. Haiku open mic word play for excellent chords. <laughs> Spring is cool outside. Hot fun in the summertime. Keep that on your mind. <laughs> okay. <I'll> Spring. <laughs> It's cool outside. Hot fun in the summertime. Keep that on your mind. <laughs> you know, uh, before I, how long have I been doing this with you, Twisted? Uh, a couple of years now. A couple of years? Damn. A year? A year? A year? Yep. I used to almost always give up. Almost, almost, almost two years. years. I tell almost folks that, you know, I don't do poor, poetry yeah, yeah. and I don't, and I always tell them, you know, I, I, I come from the old school. If you don't rhyme, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, I always tell people, you know, I get the, uh, you know, Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I Am. Yep, yep. That's the type of poetry that I like. <laughs> if no rhyme, you're like, what tooth do I can't do that? You got the rhyme to be Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I Am. So here I go. So, so, so I go by, so I go by, uh, I go by Rudo, Abstract Man, Big Queen, name me Abstract Man. My real name is Robert Green. So, so we go just a little piece of this and then I'll be through. Rudo I am. Rudo I am Sam. Do not like green eggs and ham. Rudo I am Sam. Do not like green eggs and ham. Ab abstract man spit and jam. <laughs> Sam, do not like green eggs and ham. Abstract man spit and jam. Right. Yeah. Yeah.